AWS identity and access management policies give us a lot of powerful ways to control the authorization scenarios that we're creating. The thing to kind of ask yourself is who's going to create the policies and how are we going to maintain them over time? One of the first options is, of course, using something that you wrote yourself. This is a customer managed policy, and there's really two different flavors. The first one there is the managed policy, and the other one is one that's called inline. Now, an inline policy is a policy that you embed inside a user group or role, and it's restricted to only using it on that one particular identity. Whereas a managed customer policy, it actually has a policy object that you can attach to multiple groups or multiple roles. So it's a reusable type of policy. This is an important distinction to make because while inline policies give us a, an important mechanism, they're also very limited. Because they're not reusable and they're identity specific, it creates a high administrative cost to potentially leveraging them and needing to maintain them over time. On the other side, you have AWS managed policies. Okay. And of course, the value here is that AWS, first of all, creates the policies. And then I think probably the most important part is that they manage them over time. Let's say, for example, that S3 creates a new API call and everybody wants to take advantage of it. If you're using customer managed policies, you need to go back to all your policies, add the new action, or make sure that you've used some sort of a wild card uh, to identify those actions. If it's an AWS managed policy, wherever that policy object exists, AWS is gonna update it for you in the background. Now, you might imagine that is a good thing and also a little bit of a troubling thing. So at the heart of this question of customer versus AWS managed is a question of control. Over here in my identity and access management dashboard, if I take a look at my policies screen here, you can see some of this in action when you take a look at the filters. Notice the big categories, customer managed, or then a whole bunch of AWS managed ones. And of course, the customer managed ones are ones that I've built. Notice the little type category down here, and they are reusable. The AWS managed ones are the ones that AWS built. And take a look at the little category there. Again, these are all managed policies, so they are reusable. If I take a look at a user directly, like here is my uh, Alan Grant user, um, down here at the bottom, notice that they have a permissions area. Over on the right, you can see the one that says add inline policy. That would embed the policy directly in this user without creating a reusable policy object. So just to kind of remember here, friends, remember inline are identity specific, non-reusable policies manage policies, create an object, and they can be reused across lots of different identities. See you next time.